My family are fans of Portsmouth FC, so for my dad's birthday, I thought I'd build him a replica of Fratton Park. <laughs> to do this, I am using 0.5mm styrene card. I printed off a few overhead photos and scaled them to the right sort of size and used that to help get the size correct. I'm using some Tamiya Extra Thin to cement these together. This is the south stand. And then I've got some green felt, which I'm using for the pitch. As you can see here, checking to make sure that the fratten end is also the right size. So you can see this picture, which I found on Google Images, an illustration of the overhead, which I'm using to get the dimensions for the roof nice and correct. And then I'm using this metal ruler and my craft blade to cut really nice, crisp, straight edges. This is for the Milton end. Now, when it came to do the lines on the pitch, I'm using this very fine Posca paint pen in white. May need to go a few times over this to make the lines stand out. Did most of this with a sort of vague approximation of how big the uh, areas were on the real pitch. And then I use this circle template here to make sure that I got nice, neat curves on the uh, center circle. Pretty happy with that. The Ds on the edge of the box are a little big. Next, I used a staple for the goalposts, made little holes, and then once I was happy with the position, I put down some super glue. Now for the seats, I chose to use some thin blue card. You could paint these sections or you could print these off, but I thought that this was useful because I could divide them into sections and then also do the little walkways. Pretty happy with that. Now the fratten end is slightly taller, so I'm using this foam board, putting it on the bottom like so. And I also painted the bottom of it uh, this kind of sandy color as there's some brickworks. And here you can see how I've used another piece of plastic card for the uh, seating area. And there we are, checking how it lines up next to the pitch. Now for a couple of the stands, they've got some lettering, so I cut these out of paper using the craft knife, PFC for Portsmouth Football Club. And then some foam safe super glue here for the uh, back of the stand like so and then you've got a moment before it cures to sort of position it into the correct shape i bought this thin florist's wire which is really useful for doing poles and things like that you can cut it really easily just with a craft blade I'm cutting it to a one centimeter height here and adding a little super glue to the top and bottom of the stand here to do the supports. I didn't do this for every single stand, but uh, it is a, a really simple addition that you can add. These were colored blue with some Sharpies once they were cured. Now for these seats, the uh, steps in between them are yellow. So I colored that in yellow with a Sharpie first. And then here I'm gluing the seats on just using a little white glue. Then the player's tunnel and the uh, subs benches uh, are black. So I'm using a Sharpie for those. And here I'm using another piece of styrene with a hole in the middle to do the player's tunnel. I'll add a Portsmouth badge to that later on. And here I'm doing the upper tier of the south stand. Not completely accurate, but you won't see most of this detail. I initially painted the roof in this light blue, but I later changed it to a darker blue, as that's what it looks like now. I printed off my own logos to go on the back of the stands, as you can see here. I could have used water slide decals, but as I wasn't going to be clear coating this, I felt that using paper and PVA was fine. So 
It's not 100% accurate, but at this scale, it doesn't really matter. I would imagine that this scale is probably about 1 to 400. The Fratton End has the Portsmouth Crest and the portrait of Jimmy Dickinson, Portsmouth's um, most capped player for England. Um, he was a one-club man, most appearances for Portsmouth as well, and won the league with us twice. I did those images on paint and then glued that into place using some super glue and did a thin strip of styrene at the front, coloured with Sharpie for the advertisings. Here's the big screen on the top of the Milton end. Again, I used a thin strip of styrene for the advertising boards and then put a larger strip on the top of that with Portsmouth crest on for the big screen. Fratton Park is quite an old-fashioned stadium, but it's a lot more modern than it used to be. In fact, even into the 21st century, the Milton stand here didn't have a roof on it. The north stand that you can see here on the right actually has a bend in it, so I made the roof section of this in two sections. Firstly, building the back wall like so. I did the roof about two thirds of the way and then bent the back around a little bit and then put the rest of the roof section on. I then extended that out at the front like you can see here. And here I'm using a bit more of the florist's wire with some masking tape to do some little flags. There's usually five on this stand but I thought I'd just do three. England, Ukraine and Portsmouth for my own family. I decided to display it in this six pound box frame from Ikea. It comes with this uh, mounting card like so, which I positioned over the top of some foam card. And here I am positioning it all to make sure that it all fits in. I then used some super glue to fit it's all down into place. I didn't want any of this peeling up after it had been put into the frame. Fratton Park has a mock Tudor entrance at the uh, corner of the South and Fratton Ends, which I recreated using a little bit of foam card and printed off an image of the front to put on top of it. I haven't added all of the details of the stand, including the lights on the roof or the um, TV camera sections on the South stand, but most of the details are there. And then for the finishing touch, I did a little nameplate at the bottom with the crest as well as my own logo as a sort of signature. And there we have it. I'm pretty pleased with this. Uh, my dad really liked receiving it for his birthday. I added a few other details using um, thin markers, but uh, I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. Let me know what you think down below. Have you been to Fratton Park? who was playing and uh, what was the result? When was it as well? Thank you very much for watching. Please do leave a comment, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon.